Welcome to this episode of our podcast where we tackle important issues affecting teenagers' mental health and what we can do to help. I'm your host, Anna Blaha. In today's episode, we will look into a crucial topic, teen mental health in high school. High school is a time of growth and challenges, and we want to shine a light on the mental health concerns that many teenagers face and provide valuable insights on how to manage them. So let's begin by understanding teen mental health a little bit better. Let's discuss why it's essential to address teen mental health. High school can be a very exciting, uh, yet very stressful period in our life where very often teenagers are confused about what they want for themselves and who they want to be, since during this time is when we start to build a character. Studies have shown that most, if not almost all, of high school students experience mental health issues such as depression, anxiety, PTSD, and so on, and it is very important to shed light into these mental health issues by noticing the signs and helping someone in need. Let's talk about signs and symptoms. Recognizing the signs and symptoms of teen mental health issues is vital. Common indicators include changes in behavior, mood swings, and withdrawal from social activities. Sometimes you may notice your peers drifting away from something they used to enjoy like sports or studies, being late to class often, distancing from people, having a mindset that nothing really matters. These are some subtle yet noticeable signs that someone is going through something very challenging in life and need help with their mental health. It's important to remember that each individual's experience is unique and helping them find a way of coping with these issues, especially during this period, is more than enough to make a difference in someone's life. Now let's explore some practical coping strategies that high school students can use to manage their mental health. Some coping strategies that have helped out a lot of teenagers could be like seeing a therapist, talking to a school counselor, balancing your time by making a schedule, and so on. It's always important to remember that when somebody is going through a hard time, it's normal to be burnt out emotionally and physically. Sometimes you might find yourself not having energy to do basic tasks, and it's important to take your time with yourself and work on being a better version of yourself. And it's good to find healthy coping mechanisms and seeking help when it's needed. To provide a real-life perspective, I have reached out to people I know and talked about their experience in high school and how it affected them. So today, I will be inviting a guest to tell us more about her experience in high school. Hello everyone, I'm your guest Elisa Braha. So Elisa, tell us a little bit about your high school experience and how it affected your mental health. My high school experience, I can say it was like anyone's normal high school experience, except we had COVID-19 back then and it was a little harder than usual. And we all had some kind of fear of missing out. In the first year, we, we felt like our best years, our adolescent years were just going down the drain. And it was a lot stressful with the stress of everyone getting sick, our exams all getting piled up and what will happen in the future. And I can say that most of my peers, including me, had some problems during that stage. We had some anxiety, some even depression, and we had different ways to deal with it. So how did it feel when you went back to normal life in school? It didn't feel real. We were all so excited, but then it hit us. It's just we're back to reality high school was not it it was not like everybody made it out to be it was a lot of of stress during your exams a lot of stress with your peers trying to fit in and with your imagination for your further education in university what would you say was the most stressful part about high school that might have caused your mental health to go a little backwards maybe I can say for myself, it was maybe my applications in university in the last year. Uh, They were really stressful. And besides having my applications, I also had like my Metro exam, which is like um, the national exam we take, our graduation, our prom, and I had everything piled up. It was a lot more stressful than the years before. So how would you um, come to the conclusion that high school was your best years or maybe your worst years? I can't say neither of them. They were not definitely not the best years, but not the worst years e- either. They were good. I had fun. I learned a lots of new stuff. I made lots of new friends. It was an experience I don't want to go back to, but an experience that grew me as a person. Do you have any regrets from high school? No, I do not have any regrets. I like the way my house, uh, my high school experience went, even though it didn't go as planned. Okay, thank you so much. So now that we talked with our guest about her high school experience, I would like to talk about breaking the stigma. Let's discuss the importance of breaking the stigma surrounding mental health. Open conversation and ed- education can help create a more supportive environment in high schools. 
encouraging those in need to seek help without hesitation because often topics related to mental health are pushed aside and labeled as just a phase. And a lot of times mental health issues start small and progressively get worse if not treated with the right amount of attention, which is why I believe it's important to be an open topic for more teenagers to be well educated about how they can work through it or help others going through it. We reached out to some of our listeners and received some fantastic questions about teen mental health, so let's address a few of them. The first question was, what do you think is the biggest cause of bad mental health for teenagers? I personally think that most of the time, teenagers in high school, when they first begin, it's a new environment for everybody. It's um, a lot of new students, a lot of new teachers, and a lot of um, new, uh, more stressful vibes because you have the pressure of making new friends, making memories. You don't really want to miss out on the experience of high school by not making friends the first few weeks. So beginning there is just, um, you get nostalgia from primary school when you think about your friends when you think about how it used to be and that it all changed and I think what really affects uh, teenagers is how fast everything changes and how um, hard it is to adapt to those changes the second question was why do teenagers not go to their parents for their issues I think that most teenagers um, when they get to a certain age they no matter how small or how big the issue is most of the time, they're more closed off because they don't really um, want anybody to see the stress and um, maybe push it aside. Or maybe some, in my case, and in a lot of teenagers' cases, they don't usually go to um, adults for their issues because they don't feel like they understand. The third question was, what are the best ways to help someone in need? Well, it really depends on the situation and how bad the mental health can be. Because if it's um, minor stress or no matter what type of mental health conditions you might have it's always going to be a very important subject so whatever you need whenever you need help or something there's always a therapist you can go to a counselor friends family anybody and i will always encourage people to wake up with a fresh mindset so no matter how burnt out you are to always try and do something small that will lift up your energy and give you more motivation and every day something small will lead to something even bigger the more you work on yourself and with time everything will get better now with all the questions that have been answered with the guest um finishing what she had to say and with everything that i have said so far we hope that this episode have sh- has shed light on the significance of teen mental health in high school. Remember, if you or someone you know is struggling, it's okay to seek help. Reach out to a trusted adult, school counselor, or therapist. You're not alone in this journey. Thank you for joining us today. We're dedicated to raising awareness and offering support for teen mental health. Stay tuned for more episodes and please share this podcast with those who might benefit. Your mental health matters, so take care and we'll see you in the next episode.